After getting a chance to play Valorant's newest agent, KO, all I can say is that if you enjoy playing fast and aggressive, this radiant hunting Terminator is everything you've ever dreamed of. Be sure to let me know what you think about KO in the comments down below. KO is an initiator class agent with a bounceable Molotov, a utility suppressing throwing knife, and two flashes that are as close to a Counter-Strike flashbang as we are likely to get. His kit centers around dominating an area of the map and opening up the site on either attack or on a retake. Each piece of his utility has some super unique functionality for the variety of changing scenarios you are likely to encounter in a match. KO's Molly Fragment is pretty straightforward to use. It can bounce if thrown off of a wall, but once it settles will explode and do pulses of damage. It seems to be extremely good to combo with an Astra Star because the Molly does maximum damage at its center and then does less as you get farther away. Most of the plays that I've seen made so far with this are basic choke point stalling tactics. There is a good amount of post plant potential for Fragment also, and since it follows the same projectile properties as a Killjoy Nano Swarm or Viper Poison Orb, all the lineups will still apply, which makes learning this agent much more simple than most. KO's flash drive is a super versatile flash that can be thrown either overhand for longer throws or underhand for shorter tosses. Flash drive is super easy to use and understand as you basically just throw or toss it and it will flash after a small travel time. No special unique properties to activate it. Check out how Ethos uses it, for example, as an underhand toss here to pop out of a smoke into blinded opponents. This also masks some of the travel time and makes the flash extremely hard to turn or avoid. It will detonate if thrown straight into the air as well, and you can bank it off of walls much like a Yoru flash. Flash Drive has a huge amount of potential for lineups and especially for pop flash plays as it is very easy to toss up behind you as you push forward. The micro flash when facing away from it as it detonates is super short while anyone looking your direction will be full blind. I also see a lot of potential for sky flashes where flash drive is thrown over a wall like on Haven's A Long to force an operator to fall back into cover as you push through the door. Zero Point is KO's signature suppression knife projectile. It fires in a mostly straight line when thrown forward or can be sent in an incredibly long arc if aimed higher. Upon impact with any surface or player, the knife will stick and detonate after a short fuse, stopping any agent in the area of effect from using utility for 8 seconds. There's a reason that this is KO's signature ability and the potential to completely break the meta is huge here. Not only does Zero Point stop utility from being used, but all currently placed utility from Sentinels like Killjoy, Cypher, or the like will be disabled for the duration. This also applies to Viper and her orb and wall, which will deactivate as if she had died, dropping the potential for cover. All that might sound strong on its own, but the detonation of Zero Point goes through walls and actually tells you what enemy agents are suppressed, allowing you to basically use it as a scouting tool that regenerates over time. There are some exceptions to the suppression effect. Sage's Wall won't disappear, for example, and Boombot will continue rolling and lock onto players, but other channeling quote-unquote abilities like Sky's Trailblazer or even Raze's Showstopper will instantly be canceled if they get hit by the blast. One good piece of news for Sentinel players is that you can shoot the knife once it sticks into a surface, much like a Sova Recon Dart, to stop the suppressing effects from happening. While Zero Point is mostly an offensive tool, it can be thrown defensively as well to stop a big rush from having all of their firepower or even be chucked across court for some super creative lineups that might have global impact on a push at a site that you're not currently playing. KO's ultimate Null Command is truly monstrous. Costing 7 ultimate points, KO gets a combat stim for faster rate of fire and also puts out EMP pulses that apply the same suppression effect as Zero Point in an area the size of your footstep noise. And when KO dies, in this ultimate form, he enters a downed state. In this state, he has 850 hit points and a 15 second timer where a teammate can channel to revive him after a couple of seconds. If revived, KO rejoins the fight with 100 hit points. If the timer ends or the enemy team expends enough firepower to go through 850 HP, then KO actually dies for real. This ultimate is the quintessential five-man rush onto a site enabler. The area of suppression is absolutely massive and basically impossible to avoid, and the suppression effects pulses out five times, and each one applies a four-second suppression that will be refreshed if you get hit by another pulse. It's definitely one of those abilities, like Phoenix's Run It Back, where you and the team just want to barrel onto a site and set up a post plant as quickly as possible. 
One more important thing to keep in mind is that while opponents are suppressed, it's not like they are concussed. There's no effect on their ability to aim or shoot, and so suppressed targets can shoot back which means you really want to combo this with something like a flash or other forms of utility. That being said, from the playtesting that I was able to do and watch, it does feel like KO will instantly become a must-pick agent, both in professional play and at all levels of pub games because of his crazy versatility as one of the best scouts, one of the best entry fraggers, one of the best space makers, and also a pretty darn good post-plant player as well. So that is just a quick overview of what KO has to offer, and I will definitely be doing another video analyzing some big KO plays here in the future. So make sure you're subscribed and thank you for watching.